Good afternoon, Grant Adlam reporting from Business Sense. We're at DRG's office up in Hillcrest, chatting to David White. Now Dave, Dave is writing a very interesting article on a launch that is happening. It's the South African Chamber, UK, KZN chapter launch that is happening on the, David, the 14th. Yeah, oh, thank you, Grant. Uh, it's really important. The South African Chamber, UK, have come up with an idea to help the South African economy uh, grow and develop and uh, we're launching our first chapter on the 14th of September and uh, we're all very excited about it. The um, aim of the chapter is to try and help to facilitate trade between the two countries. Of course uh, South Africa and the United Kingdom have enjoyed a very positive trade record over the last centuries and so we're not inventing anything new we're just trying to make it easier, more streamlined, so that more businesses have an opportunity to join uh, in this process. Uh, we're wanting small businesses, large businesses, medium-sized businesses. We're wanting everybody uh, to recognize that it is possible to trade. The South African Chamber in the UK are a very composite team of professionals, uh, very well uh, networked and very able to provide support and guidance around all the administration and reporting requirements uh, for businesses to trade in the UK. So we're particularly happy about it and uh, very excited uh, to see so many people interested and uh, wanting to hear more. I just want to backtrack a little bit. You've got some big names involved, um, some very impressive names. And, and what is the reason, the real sort of, what do you get out of affiliating or associating with, with, the, with the South African Chamber what, what, what is the main thing that people, companies get out of it? Aren't we, we're wanting business leaders to recognize the possibilities of trading in new markets. That is really what we're trying to establish. When we sit here in Durban, uh, it looks like a very complicated process uh, to find new trading partners in the UK. I mean, where would you start? Um, since 2017, we've been traveling backwards and forwards to the United Kingdom and building relationships with um, organizations through the South African Chamber. And we think it's easily possible uh, for companies here in KZN uh, to trade abroad. We want business leaders to think big, we want them to think broad, and we want them to think international. And that's absolutely brilliant. So now on the 14th, is that a webinar? Can, can people log on and watch it? Or what is the process? Grant, it's going to be a virtual meeting. Uh, we found that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, our speakers are from the United Kingdom, uh, from here in Durban, from Johannesburg. So it was a way of getting all of our speakers together uh, to share the magic of this trade conduit service. And we know that we're able to reach a very broad audience uh, through virtual meetings. Going forward from that point, uh, we would like to have individual discussions with those organizations that are thinking of trading, and uh, that's really what we're aiming to do. So the, meet, the launch on the 14th is to broadly uh, describe our aims and objectives and how we aim to achieve those outcomes, and then to engage individually with companies to help them with their unique requirements uh, and needs in trading abroad. If a company wants to deal UK, South Africa, UK, South Africa is definitely where they need to be on the 14th. So I'm going to put up the, um, the address of where they can go to register whatever the processes are, which is on the screen now as you're looking. And uh, David, thank you very much. And back to the studio.